Quite amazing. Thank you, Bill. We welcome Mary Beth Garrigan from the National Eagle Center this morning. Mary Beth will be at Family Fest this weekend doing That's a right. couple of Eagle shows yes. with your partner here. This is Harriet. Yes, we'll be at Family Fest. We'll be there at 11 and 2 and be available for photos. So it's a great time to, to meet an Eagle nose to beak. Yes. <laughs> It's, this is quite amazing. I have to admit, when you first came around the corner with her, I ha had to step back a little bit. It's a <laughs> quite a large bird. I've never seen an eagle this close. Before. Well, you know, and of course in La Crosse here, you've got the eagles that are migrating through. Yes. And it's a great time to see eagles in the wild uh, from now and through March, and even up in Wabasha, where we're from at the National Eagle Center, uh, the eagles are migrating through. So it's not only a chance to get to see these birds close up, uh, at Family Fest uh, this weekend, or like on Sunday, but uh, also a chance to go out on the river and actually look for the w ones out in the wild. Absolutely. Now, how old is Harriet? Harriet's uh, 27 years old. Oh, no kidding. And she's a Wisconsin bird. She was originally from Vilas County, uh, uh, Wisconsin, and uh, was hit by a vehicle, so she can no longer fly. So she stays at the National Eagle Center in Wabasha, Minnesota, and uh, she's our ambassador. Okay, now tell during these um, educational shows that you're mm -hmm. going to be doing on Sunday, what are some of the things you guys are going to talk about? Well, we'll talk about the eagle migration, of course, uh, the comeback story. Uh, you know, these birds uh, came off the endangered species list uh, recently, and they're doing quite well. Uh, a little bit about their history, uh, the biology, and then also what we can do to help uh, not only eagles, but other migratory birds that come up on the flyway on the Mississippi, because actually spring is just right around the corner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're all counting down the days. Yeah. <laughs> now, how close, you know, I'm sure there are parents out there and some kids out there that are going to be wondering, you know, how close are they going to be able to see Harriet or whatever, whatever well, bird you like bring? Well, like me and you are standing right here. Really? We can get this close and talk. Uh, we'll actually do some uh, presentations, uh, but then afterwards there'll, there'll be time available to get photos, get close, uh, learn about the, uh, not only the Eagles, but the National Eagle Center, and uh, just taking a trip where to see Eagles along routes along the Mississippi. Okay. Well, let's give the folks at home some information. The National Eagle Center is going to have two shows on Sunday. The first is at 10.15, and there's another one at 2 o'clock. Both shows are free and open to the public, so bring the family down to the La Crosse Center on Sunday. Again, it's a free event, um, but food donations are accepted. Learn more about Family Fest by visiting cpclax dot com. And also we wanted to let people know that the National Eagle Center is also celebrating the spring migration every weekend in March. March is our big soar with the Eagle Month because we can see as many, our record count was 697 eagles in one, and in one day. Wow. Uh, so it could be quite, every weekend we have special events and programs and other eagles as well, so other types of raptors. So it's a, it's a chance to really come out and uh, enjoy the Mississippi National Wildlife Refuge. Okay, because I've been staring at the eagle because it's so beautiful. I'm going <laughs> to see if we, I don't know if that graphic went up, but it's the first event. It, the first event is the Human Connection on March 7th and 8th. The center is located in downtown Wabasha, Minnesota. So for more information on this uh, and other upcoming events, you can head to their website, nationaleaglecenter.org, or you can call 651-565- Four nine eight nine. I'm amazed by this bird. He just kind of hangs out, huh? Yeah, she's just great. She just uh, this is sure she's an ambassador. She's traveled uh, to uh, both coasts and has been uh, to Washington D.C. So she's a great ambassador. Wonderful. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate <laughs> well, your time. To be here. Absolutely. Right. Hope to see you all. All right. We'll, we'll be right back.